All right. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the Globifo process that prints the letters out for each mailing. Now, I have to admit, this is a very complicated Globifo process. I will try to explain it the best I can and then go through on how I did it. Now, hopefully, you, this explanation will give you a, at least a general grasp on what's going on. Uh, but it took me a while to figure this one out, so let's get started. Now, unlike the other videos, I set up a little, a little overview of how this process works. So I'll start here. For the trigger, we set it for the camp when a campaign item has been updated. So any item, any update will trigger this flow. Now we only want this flow to actually run when the print category field is set to printed letter. So if we take a look at Podio for a second, come into one of my campaigns that I have, and this print category field, if I click print letters, it'll kick off the process. And that's what we want to check for in a filter. So that is what we will do, what we'll be doing. Now we get to the action and the fun part. Now the first thing that has to happen is we need to access the mailings for the campaign template that is used. So, taking, going back to, to Podio, if I show you the campaign, we'll look at that campaign again, and this is the campaign template I'm using. So what you have to access is the campaign template and the mailings that have been referenced. So once you have that, you have to find the mailing that is current, that is the current mailing. And you'll do that by getting the reference to this first mailing, checking the sequence number, and then comparing it to the campaign sequence number. And that is right here, the, the next mailing sequence. When, you ha when that matches, you're okay, you take that mailing and you move on to the next step and then you get the letter that is associated with that mailing. Going back to Globiflow, we will go into the campaign template, say we're on mailing number two, we click that, and now we have access to the letter because we want the letter content so we can merge it with the leads that we will pull in. So now we have number three. Now we will loop through the leads that are linked to the campaign. And those leads will show up at the bottom here. So I have 200 leads in my system that I am referencing to this campaign. And then our Globiflow process will loop through each one of those. And we'll start mail merging with the letter template. And when we're done with that, we'll save it as a PDF, which will then get uploaded automatically to your campaign item. Take a look here. We have a couple of my tests. And this will be one of the records. And forget about the formatting, still a little ugly, but the proof is in the pudding with the address, name, my phone number, my name. And you can see that there's 200 or so. So when that step is done, you've done all the heavy lifting now. I like to create a task to print that tells me when I, would go, I have to go print the next batch of mailings. So that would be in 30 days according to how I set up my campaign. And then I want to update the campaign to display the information for the next mailing. So I want to set the date for the next mailing and the next sequence number. So I want to set this value and then this one. So we are ready for the next mailing. And then lastly, and that's it. So, I mean, that's the, the overview of how all this is going to work. I'm going to try to cut my video, this lesson into two videos because this overview is taking about five minutes itself. 
So I like to cut it into chunks. If you have any questions just about this part, don't worry, it might become clear when I start going through the actual configuration of the Globiflow process. If not, you can just copy it as long as you have everything else equal and all the other apps that I've set up and followed it exactly, it should work. So now we'll go on to the next video.